Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back and we're back with an album, an album that I've been waiting for for weeks. I will address though, if you hear any background noise, there's work getting done outside the house. I gotta apologize for the noises. But other than that, we're settling down with Pablo Vitar, an album that's not in English, but I'm so intrigued by the artwork that released over the past few days. I'm gonna put it on screen, that artwork, that's my aesthetic to a T. I'm obsessed. The album is called Night. That's what it translates to. I don't know how to pronounce it in Portuguese, but we're going to jump into it and analyze the songs. We've covered some Pablo on the channel. I'm not sure if you're aware, but if you are, you know I obsess over Pablo's music. If you're not, go check out what I've reacted to. We've reacted to two of these songs, but if I'm in the mood, I might listen to them again. With that being said, guys, make sure you subscribe down below. Join as a member. You get exclusive content. Over on my members page, I'm going to be posting a ranking of this video from my favorite to my least favorite of the tracks. So make sure you join as a member down below and you get exclusive videos, access to my social media. You get to choose what I react to. So join, subscribe, do all the things with my social media as well. And let's just jump on in. Track number one. So we're starting off with Noitara intro. It's an intro to the album, Night Intro, it's called. Let's just hit play. It's only 40 seconds. So it's not very lengthy. It's a little introduction. It's a little monologue dialogue moment. This is given... I, if you know Tom Rasmussen, I don't know if I pronounced their name right, but they're not a very big artist, but they're someone I've listened to over the past few weeks. They're coming out with an album, but this sounds like their song, Fantasy Island Opera. If you know, you know. Let's keep going. That beat's coming in as well. We know the high energy's coming through with this album. We know the two songs and I'm obsessed with the type of EDM sound. And ending it with Noi Tada, just breaking it up, the suspense. And I'm gonna assume it transitions into the next track. I'm gonna assume there's a transition there. Let's go on to the next one. The next one, guys, we've reacted to, we've reacted to the song and we've covered the music video. It's featuring Gloria Groove and you know I'm obsessed with Gloria as well. You know my obsession is there. This song, I might not keep much in, but I'm gonna listen to it and I'm gonna get the energy coming through. Abracadabra, yes, I hear that, Gloria. The production for the slaps, it's so, so good, so good. Ame Anointe, I didn't name the song, it's called Ame Anointe. I'm only getting it now, the music video matches the album cover. The music video aesthetic, it's so cohesive with the cover. It's very dark, eerie. And then we get that group choreo. We get that choreo in there. After that one guys, track number three we've also covered but we won't be listening to it right now. I've done a reaction, I'm gonna link it up in the corner so go check out my reaction to it. It's with MC Carl and S Controlada. It was a EDM party club hit. I still listen to it weekly. When I'm getting ready to go out at the weekend, this is on my playlist. I obsess over this song. Next one up though, guys. It's a little interlude moment with DJ Rames, Ramimas and Anita. Calma Amiga interlude, so it's a, a little interlude moment. Let's just get that up and see what it involves. What the actual fuck is this? Coming at me like that? Coming at me with that deep voice and that EDM electronic static high energy party. Oh, I don't know how to describe it. It makes me want to get up, shake my ass, and jump and dance. Oh, and it's only an interlude. Oh, 
Pablo coming through then with a little monologue in the middle. A little faint monologue just in the background. Yes. These electronic sounds. I hear moaning. Oh, that build. Where's Anita? It says Anita in the title. Is this Anita? Is this little bit Miss Anita? I want to look up the translation to this one. I want to know what they're actually saying. It's going to transition. Ending with the laughter, that high screeching sound, and that beat, that beat kept getting, that, that, I don't know how to describe it, reverb, is that what it's called? Kept getting more intense. So I feel like this one transitions into the next one because Anita is on the next one. But what we're gonna do is that we're gonna look up the, the translation to this. I need to know what it means. I need to know. I couldn't find a translation to that one, guys. I really couldn't find it anywhere. It has just come out, so it may not be updated yet, but you guys can let me know down below what that interlude means. We're gonna transition into the next one. The next one, guys. This one is Anita and Pablo Vitar with Balina de Cara Cora Keo. I don't know the pronunciation. Don't slaughter me in the comments. I'm not fluent. I will mess up. I am sorry, but I don't know. This one, two and a half minutes, relatively short. Let's see where we're going. Let's see what they're bringing. We got a lyric video. Not that it's gonna help if it's not in English. <laughs> Guys, we're halfway through. We're on track six. This album is so high energy. This album's so party vibe. Makes me wanna not dance, but jump in a mosh pit. This album is top tier. I'm obsessed. It's my sound. I love this sound right now. This is what I gravitate towards and it came out just the right time. Next up is Derry Tida. Again, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but another very short song, two minutes, two one seconds. Starting off slow. I spoke too soon. This is giving more pop. Vocals though, the vocals are strong. Okay, we're getting a little fast moment. A little rap moment. Oh, it's building. There's a lot of big builds in these songs. That did not drop like I expected it. I expect a switch up in the song. That drop was not a drop. Pablo holding the notes. We've reacted to Follow Me with Rina Sawiaba. We know Pablo can do high notes. This is the beat drop I expected. It came later than I thought. Pablo keeping it. Keeping it suspenseful. Keeping the suspense. I did not expect it to drop and then it did and then it... What is this vocal distortion? Next up guys is Penitra. Penetra. I don't know how to pronounce this one either but it's got a feature. Canala, Cana, Canala. Again, I don't know. I just don't know. So guys, this one, we're gonna hit play on it, but then after we're gonna look at the lyrics. I wanna check the lyrics on this one. I wanna just dive into a little bit more meaning. I'm curious on it. Let's go and press play. Another very short song. These songs are all so short. Okay, synth. Vitar, I love when Pablo does that. Why is it given opera? The production? Orchestra? This part reminds me of Fun Tonight, the remix with Pablo and Lady Gaga. It's given very quirky. Whispering, rapping. Penatra, is that how to pronounce it? 
This production, we've not heard anything like this. It's given robotic, electronic. Very repetitive. Very repetitive. Guys, Penetra, Penetra, it was very repetitive. I liked it, but the repetition kind of pushed me away. Let's look at the lyrics. So, I heard about a party, but I wasn't invited. My name isn't on the list, but I'm already at the entrance. That's me. I show up to the club. Yes. I'm not even there. Everyone is here. I'm going to enjoy it. Catch me if I fall. Okay. Chorus, Penetra, 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 Penetra. Okay, penetrate. So it just means penetrate. Okay, then this second verse. Seven. That ma makes you weak. Check it out. I wasn't invited to the party. Same sort of vibe. I don't care. I don't care. The troops are going to invade. I want to see ass go down, up and out. I want to see ass go down and up. What? Vulgar. Nasty. We're getting details. Unnecessary, but they work for the vibe of the song. We're partying. We're penetrating. I'm getting hookup vibes from this song. Pablo being nasty with this feature. What's next? What song is up next? Next up is track number nine. Three songs left. Track number nine has DJ Tonyas and MC Technalio. I don't know who they are. Don't know who they are, but this one is titled Appetitosa. Appetitosa. Pablo has me stumped with this language. Pablo has me stumped. This one's under two minutes, so again, very short. Starting off very ominous and dark. Who is this? It's nasty. It's evil. It's ominous. Oh, this might be a favorite. This might be a standout. That fade out, but also distorted vocal. Pablo, who produced this album? Who is the producer? Who helped? Who done the, the greatest with the production? Oh, that little distance voice. They're vocalizing together. They're singing together. Collab, collab. Pablo belting. Belting these vocals. I like this. Oh, I like this one. It's so chill, but still got that little heavy beat. That one was too short. That one was too short. A lot of these tracks are so high energy that they, they deserve to be so short. But that one was so chill that I wanted another 30 seconds, maybe 45 seconds. Yes, I needed a little bit of instrumental to end. A 30 second instrumental to end it would have done a little bit better. Next up, second to last track, Culpa do Cupido. Is this something to do with Cupid? I don't know. We're going to see the translation after. Let's press play. Why is it starting off fairy tale like? Soft vocals, sparkling sounds in production. Oh, it didn't last long. I like the computer sounds. I like that little distorted thing in the background. This one's also a contender for favorite, just production wise. The little beeping, the... Oh, it's giving party, carnival. Why is it giving carnival? It's not bad, it's very, very good. And Pablo harmonizing over the production, doing their best, doing the most. I'm blown away with these vocals. This is also top tier. This is also a favorite. Drop that beat. Drop that beat. Oh, it's nasty. So, Copa do Capito. 
this one was too repetitive at the end, but I loved the first half of that song. We're looking at the translation. You will think of me all week on a silk sheet. With a pearl flower, my arrow tastes like cherish sex. Okay, we're getting sexual vibes again. And looking at the title, it looks like Cupid or something. So it's to do with love, but also sexual love. In your panther love, I turn into a jungle. My booty is very big and I it's going to get you. Okay, big booties. Okay. Oh my dear, put it on me gently. Okay, so we're getting into details about their intimacy. Okay, let's look at the chorus. If you tasted it, liked, cried, what do I have to do with this? The fault was on the Cupid, love, love, the fault was on the Cupid. Okay, so it's a breakup. It's given love, sex, and breakup. That's what it's given. That's the vibe I'm getting. And again, it was another short track, just the one verse and a little bit of repeated chorus. Last track, guys, is titled After, and it's the only English title, one that I can pronounce. After is wrapping it up. Let's see what it involves. Okay, why is this given orchestra? English title, not English lyrics. And we're ending it on a vocal standpoint. Ending it with a little ballad, little... And that nasty production's coming in, that nastiness. The electronic little bits and bobs in the background. Distorted. Stutter. But then Pablo forgets all that and sings over. Overpowering with that vocal, but it's so good. Not negative at all. So guys, after was so minimal. That after such a strong production based album, it was a little bit disappointing to wrap it up that way. I would love to just end it on an EDM pop banger. But it's how Pablo wanted it and that's how we have it. I can find the translation online to after. So you guys can let me know how it's wrapped up what it means. It's only a few lines. I see here the original lyrics in the language, but it doesn't look like much, but you guys can translate it for me. Let me know down below what after means. And while you're doing that, let me know what you think of my reaction and what you think of the album. What's your favorite and what's your least favorite? In the next few days, I will be posting Maybe next week. I'll give it a week. I'll listen to it for a week. I'm going to listen to the album every day, at least twice a day for a week. And I'll be posting on my members page down below my ranking favorite to least favorite and reasons why. Normally they're around 20 minute videos. So if you want to watch that 20 minute video of my opinions, join, join down below, hit that member, hit that join button, sign up and it's worth it. There's so much exclusive and don't forget to subscribe as well. Turn notifications on, like the video. I'm going to rate this album 6.5 out of 10. I'm marking it down because of the language barrier and I know that's not fair, but I'm still going to listen to it. I'm marking it down one point for that and the rest because short tracks, I wish it was longer. Maybe one or two more tracks, maybe an English track in there. Maybe one or two English tracks. There's a few reasons and a lot of repetition in choruses for such short songs. I don't like that typically in an album, but that's just my opinion. As I say, I want to know yours. Let me know. And while you're commenting, don't forget to follow all my social media. They're in the description. Instagram's up there, Twitter and TikTok's down below, and I go live on TikTok three days a week. So follow me and you'll get notified, and I'll see you in the next video.